Just a quick video today. I'm taking an Australian Divisional Cavalry Squadron as part of my list for Operation Supercharge, a mid-war tournament happening in June. By 1942, they were equipped with Crusader IIs, M3 Stuarts and Universal Carriers. Today I'm going to build the last of the Crusaders for my list. Here's the sprue. Join me as I do a time-lapse speed build of this kit. Here's the Crusader sprue from 2017. It's one of the early mid-war desert plastic kits released at the start of version 4. I have a review of it from back in the day. Today, I'm just going to build it. Let's get started. Despite being a 2017 kit, it has the features we expect from Battlefront plastics, like one-piece tracks and fairly simple assembly. Once the parts are snipped off the sprue, it's time to clean up the sprue gates. Parts cleanup is pretty simple. Most of the sprue gates are pretty accessible. Assembly is straightforward. The parts go together easily. Tracks are keyed so they go on without issue. The sand skirts were shown fitted in all the cavalry reference photos I could find, so I'm adding them here. The Australian cavalry used the Crusader II, armed with a two-pounder gun. Some of the sprue cleanup on the turret parts is harder, certainly amongst the armour's bolt detail. Crusader II has the two-pounder gun. An excellent gun for the 1930s, but definitely showing its age in 1942. Turret assembly is quick and simple. I've built the command tanks already, so this one is hatch closed. I forgot the external fuel tank for the hull, adding that now. So that's my last Crusader II tank built. As I said, this was one of the first plastic kits designed for version 4, but it stands up pretty well. My next challenge is to paint it. That's more Christian from painting Panzers or Adam Brooker's territory than mine. Again, my research says Australian vehicles were very plain. Just straight Portland stone paint jobs, no camouflage. Markings were generally just T numbers on the turrets. That should make things simple. As any modeler knows, the kit isn't finished until the cleanup's done. 